patient is a 40 year old uh, gentleman uh, resident of uh, new delhi uh, truck driver by occupation he presented with uh, chief complaints of uh, swelling over his lower lip uh, since 3 months the swelling initially was a small in size which later on increased gradually to the current extent uh, uh, the swelling uh, is uh, the patient the patient uh, initially didn't uh, the patient is having complaints of uh, there is no other uh, इनवेस्टिगेट Uh, there is no other uh, there is no other uh, similar swellings over the oral cavity uh, he has uh, no history of uh, uh, he, he has no history of uh, fever he has uh, no history of uh, excessive intake of spicy food uh, he has uh, no uh, history of any uh, dental procedures or uh, uh, any uh, all this fellow you carry on Yeah, uh, he has uh, no history of uh, undergoing any dental procedures in the past for Shar Two. Uh, the patient is a, a chronic. Uh, uh, the patient uh, has a. Um, the patient. Uh, patient. Uh, Rafi. Rafi. Yeah, yeah. Sir, doctor, look, surgeon, sir, sir, look. तो कोई दिक्कत तो नहीं है आपको. Thank you. Yeah. The patient is consuming uh, tobacco since the last since last ten years. Uh, on further inquiry, he doesn't keep uh, tobacco in his mouth for prolonged period. He uh, just consumes it and uh, then immediately uh, uh, spits it out. Uh, patient also consumes uh, alcohol occasionally. Uh, sir, patient was examined uh, after a well informed consent in a uh, well lit room. Uh, Uh, on uh, on inspection there is no obvious uh, facial asymmetry uh, 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 patient's mouth opening was adequate uh, on inspection on inspection uh, uh, we can see a, a 3 into 2 cm uh, ultra proliferative swelling over the lower lip uh, i also examined uh, the oral cavity uh, with the torch Uh, so uh, on on inspection uh, i could see uh, on inspection i could uh, on inspection i could see uh, teeth staining uh, both uh, the incisor especially the inc incisors and canine head uh, on inspecting the uh, palate there were uh, several Uh, leukoplastic uh, patches also seen uh, teeth staining uh, teeth staining was also seen uh, over the uh, upper uh, teeth then uh, com coming to uh, coming to palpation uh, th the, there was 3 into 2 cm swelling uh, no, 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 don't do it now okay just mention and we'll ask you to do it okay so on palpation uh, the, the uh, swelling so on palpation the swelling was uh, tender to touch and it was extending uh, so on palpation the swelling was 3 into 2 cm uh, it was tender to touch and it was extending uh, towards the lower uh, gingiva buccal sulcus uh, it 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 didn't bleed on touch Yeah, it did bleed on touch, and uh, the swelling was uh, firm in consistency, and the swelling was also extending beyond the uh, floor of the ulcer, sir. And uh, uh, and I also examined the nine, tenth, and twelfth uh, cranial nerves, uh, and uh, 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 there was no obvious abnormality in that. I also examined the uh, cervical group of lymph nodes, and I couldn't palpate any uh, lymph nodes. Uh, Uh, one point in history which i uh, forgot to mention that patient also didn't complain of any uh, ear pain and uh, cervical exam cervical spine examination was unremarkable sir give a big round of applause so the patient was examined in a well lit room 
after taking an informed consent and uh, on examination so we can see that the facial symmetry is maintained the bilateral nasal labial folds uh, so uh, they are uh, uh, normal on both the sides on uh, 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 mouth closure only we can see a small ulcerative lesion involving the lower lip and on uh, mouth opening so it was adequate the, there was no deviation of the angle of the mouth there was a mucus fibrosis present and uh, uh, oral hygiene was poor on account of the tobacco stains and halitosis and uh, there were bilateral uh, uh, on the buccal mucosa uh, so leukoplakic and melanoplakic uh, and even erythroplakic uh, patches are present sir and uh, then we have so this uh, lesion also a proliferative growth is uh, involving the inner aspect of the lip the lower gingival buccal sulcus and it is also uh, uh, so actually it is uh, just uh, reaching, uh, it is involving the lower ginger buccal sulcus and it is around 3 to 3 centimeters in size, extending from central incisors to uh, the lateral canine on the right side. And uh, it is, um, so the margins are, uh, the edges are reverted, edges are reverted with the well-defined uh, uh, margins and uh, there is slough present on the floor, the uh, base was indurated sir and it is extending beyond the margins of the lesion. And uh, uh, it is like it was slightly tender, sir. And carry on, carry on, don't stop. Yes, sir. Uh, then the examination of uh, the cranial nerves, uh, the ninth, tenth, twelfth cranial nerve was normal, and uh, so I did not feel for the survival. Okay, the fine. Things. Round of applause. I think that's very well done. So the idea is just look at it. You did did well. Don't worry about it. So, uh, it's not working. So, you can see mild fullness here. I know why are we missing it. There's mild fullness here, unlike on this side. And that itself is causing a little visible, uh, you can focus here, visible, visible uh, change I mean, in the nasolabial folds. Mm -hmm. The right side is obliterated. So, naturally, you can make out the difference, some fullness happening. Immediately come to the next step, open the mouth. Good. You can see the mouth opening is adequate, but even I can smell. There is any toast. And then staining of the teeth, tobacco staining is very obvious. And now you see, this is, this is clearly visible. There is subcutaneous fibrosis, there is ulceration even here. No, sir, but there see. And on this side too. And you can see the subcutaneous fibrosis clearly. Uh, and uh, without torch, if I can't see, I have one show them. There is melanoplake here, which is very difficult to show here, but you'll have to trust me for that. Can you see the from a distance something? Yes or no? You can you have to speak, no? Can you or you cannot? Hello, yes or no? So say no, that's the answer. I will just reward it for you. Hopefully, it will be visible. If the light is too much, how would we like to use that? Now, maybe you can see better now. Melanoplakia is there. And then the question was whether you describe it as a swelling. So you can straight away mention also a proliferative swelling. Where you don't have to then bother about all the aspects of the ulcer. Because here it's the edges are reverted and they're outpouring. And you can see there is a lot of slough inside. And I agree with you, the induration is going beyond the beyond the limits of the lesion. And I can actually feel that it is really mobile, but it can be tender. So I would not hurt by directly holding on. So I'm holding on to the lateral edges. Now you can possibly see. I mean, it is important for me. I will believe, believe that the it is not fixed to the mandible because it is really mobile, but I would like to investigate for that. That's important. The other thing is when you are palpating, just semi flex, and I can actually feel a level one B node. You want to feel? Bring your hand. And that's where the question is asked how do you differentiate it from a submandibular gland? Because that also is palpable. Is gentle. Can you feel it now? Okay, so it, I won't, I am not surprised because it is even due to poor poor oral hygiene. 
How do you differentiate from a gland? Level two is also parallel to the middle. Okay, so we have nodes and it shouldn't should surprise you. So the differentiate between the submandibular gland and the lymph node, we do what is called bi-digital test. Don't call it bi-manual test. And how would I do that? Now don't go here. This is a common mistake I've observed. You'll have to go under the floor of the mouth. And the other finger is outside, and you try to do bi-digital examination. It's not bi-digitally palpable. Clear? But you made a good presentation. So, anybody who wants to come and see, maybe four or five people can come. Outsiders first. All three, four. Two. By palpating. How, how did we look for the mandible and rod? That's what I showed now. Just now. Move along. But by, yes, move on. Just gently moving it. Right. You do that without hurting. And it's not tender for a change in this case. Move on. But we would need to exclude it because it's too close for comfort. It's very close to the mandible, so we need to investigate for that. You want to see? So can can we see the lymph node that you showed? You have palpate. You can't see that. No, gentle, gentle, gentle. You want to take him home? Palpate it. What is it? You can comfort the patient. Keep the patient fixed. You move. Basic flaw in the palpation. I'll tell you. This is it. The two hands sit down in front of the rings. These two fingers come in front and I'm down. Level 1A, 1B, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, you can palpate for one side individually by flexing it on one side. This I can feel clearly. Level 1B is palpable. Level 2 is palpable, which is by flexing to the same side. 3, 4 are not palpable. On the other side, similarly. So, there's one way of doing it directly, and then you can flex. Okay? I made you palpate. You can with, with, without gloves on. Good. Or put back your gloves on. I can. Uh, you can palpate, no? Good. It is here. See? Put your finger where my middle finger is. Never apply too much of that. Now you feel. When you're palpating the nodes, never apply a lot of pressure. Because when you apply the pressure, the sensations disappear. Just gentle feeling. If you're looking for something, be soft with it. Felt? Good. Good. So, Rafiq Sahib ko thoda relief karay, aur unko dhanyavad karay jane ki karay. So that's done. Yours is done. Okay? Good? Thank you. Thank you.